Hello, welcome back to Homestead, Mississippi. Gabriel and I are out here doing a little work. I had some work up here. I had to get some limbs out from over our, our muscadines. And, uh, well, anyway, our septic system runs. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to flip this around. Right. Hey, Gabriel. What's up, buddy? Um, <laughs> so the house is right through there. And the septic system is on the side of the house over here. And they have a pipe that runs through right through here. And I believe it's coming up here. And the water is supposed to drain out right here into the woods. Well, over time, uh, well, I can't even see the pipe, as you can see. But anyway, it's just building up here. And it's going over into that area, which that's where our muscadines are, right over there. All right. You can see them now, right over there. That's our muscadines, and uh, you know, I'm not saying it's bad water. In fact, I've talked to some guys who say, "Yeah, you know, water that comes out of your system, you know, you can drink that." And I'm not gonna test that. That sounds just gross. I'm not even gonna come close to drinking something like that. But uh, anyway, this is the overflow water that comes out, and it's all right here. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna dig me a little trench. I'm going to find the, the the pipe right here. It used to be, I mean, just within the last few months, it's gotten covered up. So I'm going to find that pipe. I'm going to dig a trench on out to here a little ways so that water just starts flowing into the woods downhill that way and stays out of our yard. Um, this is our property, and uh, it was surveyed. We, we had, last year, I did a video where me and the boys came out here, and we we did a little video where i ran a line where i thought the property line should be because we had you know we had a question about it last year or a year and a half ago or so about two years ago i guess now about where it was so we came back here looking for it and i measured it out and i had the the stuff and and then we ran that line and i'm looking for that line now and i'm not seeing where i went the one i ran but I do see the one that the official guys did. I see my line now. I'm going to tell you how close I was. All right, so to brag a little bit, I'm not a surveyor, but I took the, the paperwork and I surveyed my own land. And to show you how close I was, mine is the orange tape back there and right here. And the surveyors, the actual guys who did the work, they, they have the paint and the pink lines. So I was actually very, 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 very close. So our line goes all the way through there. And anyway, if you can see, let me see back through the woods here. Our front yard's right over there. The road is right up here. So all of us here in this, you know, next to the house for a good bit, we've got quite a few pine trees in here. And I eventually would love to fence this off and put some goats over here. That's a long-term goal. And, uh... Oh, I see a cap over here. Let's see what this is. This is not something I've ever seen before out here. That's cool. This is interesting. I got to figure out what this is. Because this must be the old system here. They capped that off. Look at there. That must be the old system. It's been replaced. And uh, wow, yeah, that's a big old hole right here. So I'm, I'm going to see what's going on. All around here. I'm thinking this is the old system. Yeah. It's got to be the old system because the water all comes out way over there. And uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, so this is where Papa did his little survey a long time ago. He came out and put up a little fence post for whatever reason. reason. He, he thought the property line was about right here. But you can see the, the yellow right there. And the pink flag right there he was probably a good 40 feet off he only went halfway and uh so anyway hey we're gonna do a little work out here and see here's more pipe under here. Found right here yeah you found more pipe yeah so this is definitely the old old system and they didn't have a uh system they just had a septic tank and they just allowed the sewage to all come over here and it just yeah so we're not going to do that. We're going to do this system where it just does the overflow, not the whole... I don't even think they had a tank. I think that's they, they just had the 
sewage just run out here. Yeah, but that's been 15 years ago, 20 years ago, way before us. So I'm gonna get to work over here. I'll have to take a bath tonight. Kind of in the, right here. I was way back there before the day was sitting with the camera. Alright. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, so, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to call an old buddy of mine and have him come pump this thing out soon. Now, he's up in Oxford. He's gonna come down here and do this one. Guys don't come. Woo! Nasty. Hey, this is for the poop, son. Our toilets. That's gross, boys. They look like turds like floating around. We're overflowing. Yeah, you can see it flowing a little bit now. Look at this. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep bringing it on out here. Make a little trench. Had to keep it from over there. I'm gonna try to build a wall on that side, on this side, to keep it from flowing that way. All right, so. I'm done with what I'm gonna do here. This is nastiness. Got a nice little flow all the way out here. You know, it's not too far, but it's downhill from where it was going. And uh, let's see here if I can make it back over there. And show you what we've done. This is just a temporary fix. This thing is gonna be a permanent fix. I don't know if it will be able to. I'm hoping, so if we get it pumped, I'm hoping maybe it'll be a while, maybe some of this over here will dry out and then before it fills back up and then by then it'll just all be downhill with this here. That's my hope. You see, man, the nice little trench all the way down there and it's flowing and it's flowing good too. Um, that pipe was up to the brim full of water a while ago. So that's not good, not good at all. Whoo! It's bath time. I'm gonna go take a shower. It's gross. Y'all be good and just remember, sometimes homesteading ain't all the way, uh, it ain't always that pleasant. <laughs> sometimes it has to get nasty. This is one of those times. You know, we're way out here in the middle of nowhere and you know, we, we don't have, we're not on a sewer system, we're on septic system. So, Either you have to call somebody out to do this work, which could cost you, you know, several hundred dollars, or you have to do it yourself. And, I mean, I just dug a trench. I would like to go ahead and run that on out a little ways, maybe with some another pipe, you know, couple it up with some more pipe and bend it right here and take it over there. And that might be something I, I do this summer. We're, we're going to have to wait and see. We'll see. But anyway, y'all be good. Stay dry. Stay clean. See you next time.